Hello guys and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be solving the valid anagram. So this is deemed as an easy question. Uh, so it's given two strings s and t, write a function that determines if t is an anagram of s. Alright, so uh, it says that we may assume that the string contains only lowercase alphabets. Um, so what I want to do is take a different approach to solving this problem. Obviously, there are different ways to do it, but I want to do it using divide and conquer. So the code might be a little bit messy. Um, however, I have tested it, and um, it actually beat 90% of all the code that's on here. So um, it, it's worth taking a look at. All right. Um, so let's get started. So I'll be doing this in Dart, um, like I said. I've been learning Dart lately and I feel like the best way for me to actually improve on it than just going through the all the entire documentation is to actually do something with it. So we're going to be coding this in, in Dart pretty much. So what I've done so far is really create a Dart file called valid anagram and I'm going to be switching to uh, presentation mode. All right. So now that we're here, all we need to do is pretty much uh, create the is anagram um, function. So I'm going to say is anagram, and this is going to take in a string s and string t. So I'm going to try to keep the signature the same, All right? So we can do some few checks first. We can say if s dot is empty, right? and t dot is empty then we know that empty strings are actually anagrams so we can return true so here so empty strings are anagrams of one another all right so we know that since these words have to be equal in the character count of each other, that means that the length have to be the same. So we're gonna check and say if s dot length right is not equal to t dot length, then what we're gonna do is return false here. So if S length is not uh, equal to T length return false. All right, so now we're here. So next we want to do is want to keep a tr want to keep track of the characters in both strings so we need a counter variable here so I'm going to create a counter variable so unfortunately um, dart doesn't have uh, the type of arrays that we have they have a list right so which they call an array but it's, it's really a list so we're going to do a list of ends here and then what we want to do is we want to actually fill um, that so unfortunately they don't have it where um, it's initialized to zeros so we have to make sure that we fill it uh, with zeros and we're gonna keep the base characters uh, for the regular ASCII which is going to be 256 all right now what we want to do is we want to go over uh, both characters in the string so we're gonna create a low and we want to go ahead and create a high. So this is going to be almost like um, us doing divide and conquer. So this is going to be s dot length, right minus one. You can use t dot length as well. It doesn't really matter since the lengths are going to be equal to each other. Uh, that won't matter at all. So this is going to be for the um, right most uh, right most character. And uh, this one would be for, actually this is the leftmost character. And this one would be 
the uh, right most uh, character. All right, so now that we have this, we want to check if to see if the string is actually odd or even because it makes a difference on how we calculate um, the for loop. How we go through the for loop or the while loop and check to see uh, um, what values are currently there and how we should increment and decrement. So I'm going to say very odd, and this is going to equal uh, s dot length, right? Um, mod two not equal to zero. So here we're just uh, checking for odd string length. All right, so now that we have that, what we can do is we can check and say if, right, um, if odd, then we wanna perform something. So we're gonna say um, while, right um, low is less than high then I want to say counter and we want to use s dot and then we want to use uh, code unit at so what it's going to do is going to uh, get back the int representation for a character so if we had capital A it's going to return 65 and we want to get that at low and then we want to increment it. And I'm just going to copy this because we have to do the exact same thing for high. So copy here and paste. And then we're going to change this to high, right? And then when we find uh, the other part in T, so this is for S. So when we add, if we find a, a character in S, right, and we find one in a T and then we want to decrement. So I'm gonna say T here, low and then minus minus. And I'm just gonna do this. And so I'm gonna do T and minus minus and change this to high. So what we're gonna do is that uh, here, uh, found character in s increment and this goes here as well and find character in t uh, we decrement all right the thing here i'm trying to do is cut the runtime or the loop time uh in in half right so once we have this we have to make sure that we uh, increment our low and we decrement our high all right so since this is going to be an odd string uh, what we have to do is take care of the uh, the lower part okay the middle number all right so what I'm going to do here is just uh, copy copy this okay and I'm gonna paste this here. And instead of low, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do s, right, dot length. And this is going to be the uh, divided by sign. So if I just had the regular divided by here, um, a slash here, what it's gonna do is gonna return a double, not an int. And I want an int, so this is gonna return an int. This is what the symbol means, all right? And then what I'm gonna do here is just copy this and then we're gonna move this for T. So we're gonna change this to T and we're gonna change this to T as well, All right? So now that we're here, um, if it's odd, then we're gonna run the odd loop, uh, we're gonna run the odd uh, condition. Uh, if it's not odd, then it's definitely even. So if it's even, then we, this is it. So we already have even done already. So we can just copy even and paste even down here, okay? So, I hope you guys understand what, what I did here. Okay, so we break the string, we go high and low. So we start from the middle, right? We end at the middle, right? And then we have to figure out uh, the middle one. Um, and make sure that here, um, instead of incrementing, you decrement as well. I missed that. So, 
I'm gonna copy this here and paste this here. Copy this and paste it here. Okay, uh, and uh, decrement. Okay. All right, so that looks good. So if this is odd, then we don't really care about the middle uh, thing because uh, even you don't really care about the middle. So this is going to be for even uh, length string. All right. So once we're uh, once we're done with this, right? Um, Uh, then we want to go ahead and check to make sure that everything is zero. So our counter has all zero values. So it should be the same as when we started it. So what I'm going to do here is just initialize low again. So we're going to say low is going to equal to zero, and high is going to equal to um, counter dot length, right minus one. Then we're going to create another while loop. We're going to say while right um, low is less than high all right so uh, what we're gonna do is check and see you're gonna say if right if um, counter uh, low subscript is not equal to zero or counter with the high subscript I bet a high subscript uh, is not equal to zero. Then we know that um, this is a wrong anagram. So what we're going to do is just return um, false. Okay. And then we have to make sure that we um, increment our low and uh, we decrement our high. All right. And when this is done, uh, if the loop finishes uh, we know that this is an anagram so we can just go ahead and return true all right so um to make sure uh s characters all right equal t characters all right, um, yes, if not, return uh, false. All right, so return is anagram true. All right, so now that we have this, uh, we just need to test it. So I'm gonna do public uh, loop. Oops, um, this is gonna do main. Okay, there are no like public, private, or protected um, uh, keywords in this language. I, I almost forgot. Um, uh, so let's create some. Let's create. So let's just bring this out. So I'm gonna print and do uh, is anagram. So for S, we're gonna keep them both S and T empty and this should return true, right? All right, so I'm gonna right click here and I'm going to run. And you can see that we get true here. And then what I'm gonna do is change the input. So let's do one, two, three, right? And three, one, two. And this is still an anagram of each other, so that should give us true. Uh, the moment I take off one, the lens no longer match, so that should give us false. Um, uh, what happens if I had extra spaces? All right, so um, if I had extra spaces, that's still gonna give us false because we didn't account for extra spaces, okay? Um, the program didn't say we had to account for extra spaces. If we wanted to account for extra spaces, we could just remove the extra spaces um, or check for those. And um, so, um, well, let's just do a hello and something else, the same thing. Let's do I, E, 
L L O. All right, so the character matches the land matches, but it's an invalid in, uh, anagram, so uh, that gives us false. All right, um, I know this is probably not the best way to test this. Uh, it would be good if I actually uh, had some J unit testing or something like that. Um, however, I don't know yet how to um, do that here, so uh, I'm probably gonna figure it out later on. Uh, but however, this uh, does pass all the tests on the code and um, it's rank above it says that it's better than 90 percent of all the algorithms on there um i don't know if there's any ways i can really optimize this because the first one that i wrote i um broke i had like, very few statements in there it still worked but it was only about like 25 percent and i've done modifications to this about maybe 10 times and uh, just to increase this all right, guys, this will be it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you have any questions, please leave a comment um, down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good night. Bye-bye.